What's up? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1957 210 Chevrolet. Come back, good wrench, 350 motor, power steering, power brakes, AC, aluminum radiator, lots of extra chrome upgrades there. And we're going to be taking it down the road, pointing out flaws, so you know what you're getting before you get here. Drum on the rear, disc on the front. Chrome's nice and pretty. Dual exhaust out the back there. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share this video. Detailed pictures, finance, and shipping at maplemotors.com. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Let's check some things out in here. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Should be that pretty little ring there. Coming across your dash. It's in decent shape. A little hole there in your carpet. Back seat, not bad. Package tray's pretty clean. And the headliner in this one does not look bad at all. Go ahead and start her up. Aftermarket gauges. We've got plenty of gas for this test drive here. Can't stand behind mileage in a 57 model. Not with that kind of mileage. Aftermarket gauges as well changes things. The tack, looks like it's coming up on the dash there. Our engine temperature is still cold. Turn signals. Left side is blinking, right side is also blinking. Try some of this stuff out on the dash here. Wipers are working. Let's see if we can get them to stop. There we go. Blower motor. Cutting on, blowing pretty hard. Seems fairly cool. Like the AC starting to work. It is. It's getting colder. That's good AC. Radio. Retro sound. It's at, It's not actually flashing like that. That's called refresh rate from the camera. You hear all that static? That means it's working. You got some speakers, Alpines, down in the floor. I assume that's what's in the back there. Okay. Let's place those bets. What about the horn? Does it work? Come on, give me something. It's clicking, but it's not hooked up. Okay, we're gonna hit the road. We'll see how she runs and drives. All right, we're getting ready to roll out. Here's reverse for you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you looked around. So a buddy Cameron's riding with us today and uh, he found out the clockwork. He said that that's a $500 bonus. Mm. That's what he estimated it at. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, that's really straight. It's not pulling left or right. None of the nonsense. Getting into the brakes. Same thing. I mean, holding the road straight is an arrow. When you get into the throttle here, a decent pickup. As far as kick down, let her shift down here. Doesn't feel like the passing gear is hooked up correctly, but it's still got plenty of power to get up out of the way. You gotta take over the middle of the road. There's like a main broke under there. It's always wet right there. Middle summer. Again, back into brakes. Speedo is working, seems to be pretty correct. Back in the throttle. This thing's got great pickup. Gas gauge is floating around full. Uh, so I don't believe we're gonna have to stop and get any fuel. Coming around. Pretty smooth going down the road. Tight steering. Doesn't have any slack in it. So far, so good. As far as I'm concerned on this one, this is just a good driver car and it's ready to go. Basically, the only thing you need to do is put the horn up. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. We're going to get some undercarriage shots. We're trying to stay away from the old grumpy guys running over my cameras. And uh, I'll be back.
Okay, so it got a little hot out here in December. Or wait, it's January 2nd. January, yeah. <laughs> we use the AC, cool off. Let's roll. Engine temperatures at 175. Oil pressure's around, what, 45, 50? At idle, around 900 RPM. We're good to go. Nice, silky smooth, getting into the brakes. Dang, you expected it. <laughs> well, it does that with no problem. Good throttle response. This road here's got a, uh, a small bump, a medium bump right in the middle. It's not a speed bump. But it's not flat either, so you can kind of listen. If there's any kind of shakes or rattles, you'll hear it when I hit it. I'll point it out. Nothing. And of course, coming up next is going to be picking out the flaws, so stick around to the end. That's when I walk around and look at the lower portions of the car. From the bottom to the top, under the hood, to the trunk, to the interior looking for any kind of issues that I may find. This one's got Bluetooth. Make a phone call. But we're getting ready to pull back in the lot, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe and share this video. The more comments, the better. That messes with the algorithm. All right, I'll be back. Okay, time to walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. There is detailed pictures on our website at maplemotors.com, so go there and check it out. 
Getting started on the front end here. Little bit of light scratches. Spot in the corner there. On the nose. Little scuffs over here on the edge. Chips there behind the chrome. But down this side. A little scratch on the side. Got some little runs there in the paint. Chip on the side. Chip down in the corner here. See where it's been fixed there. And the paint runs up top on the back rear. Some down in here too. Like scuffs on the rear bumper. It's about like the front. Little dimples there. Like scuff here on the side. some dirt in the paint. The front windshield, pretty clean. Seal around it ain't bad. Mirror, not bad. A little bit of pitting on your door handle there. Couple dimples down in the corner. Chip here. Cracks in the jam there. We'll be getting to that in a second. Your back window's got some tint that's peeling up. May need to be replaced for the tent. The seal is not bad and the weather, or the, uh, the trim around the window is not bad either. You got a couple little bubbles popping up here around the trim. Spot there, a little crack there. Some up top here. Coming up to the back. Chrome looks good, but you do got a little spot here in the corner. chip there in the trunk they got a new mat it looks good multiple layers there and it's glued down so I can't pick it up looks like they've redid the insulation in here got a little glue on it seals not bad A little bit of pitting in your chrome. Coming down this side. A little bubble there in the edge of the door. Paint run there, chip, chip in here, little bubble.
back to midsection. Chip on the nose here. You got a screw inside the trim, shouldn't be there. Light scratch on the door, two, three. Some up top, one, two, three. Little lines. Little bubbles popping up there on the handle. Front windshield's not too bad. The chrome is in good shape on this side as well. The seal looks all right. Up around the top on the roof here, the paint. It's got some dimples in it, some orange peel. The bird got us. Little ding here, light scratch on the back there. Coming over that top front fender, it does not look bad. Do got some chips on the inner portion there. As you're coming up, you can see a little bit of rubbish going on. Little chips there. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the interior. We'll get her started up. Listen to the motor up close, shut the hood, and grab another car for another test drive. I'm trying to hit it as hard as I can since we got back from the holidays because I'm so far behind. Okay. That's what happens when you close down. Weather stripping has been replaced, but it's got a lot of rubbish going on up here on top. Come and shut and open. Coming around the side, same thing. You got a lot to wore down. Looking at the bottom of the door. Then your jams. The door itself. A little bit of age there on your handle. Up top you've got some chips. Looking at the seat itself, it's in good shape. It's not all ripped up. And the headliner is clean. Your carpet, a little bit of moisture on the corner there. The mat's wet, so that means it's leaking. Go ahead and start her up. Electric fans been kicking off and on throughout the test drive. Door handles got a little wear on that side. The seat looks pretty good on this side. Electric fan is what is humming right now on the inside. Should come it off once it's cooled down enough. The motor's pretty quiet overall. Won't be hard to fix the horn. It's all hooked up. It could just be the button under the hood. I mean, uh, under the, the steering wheel itself. Uh -huh. 
Come on down with it. Shut's easy. Little chips in the front on the nose there. Couple little chips on the edge. Guys, I do appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share this video, and leave me some comments below. That helps us out quite a bit. Little chips here on this edge too. I do my best to go over these cars so you know what you're getting before you get here. And I don't plan on stopping. I've got plenty to do today. Let's go pick another one out. Look below in a uh, playlist. I've got cars currently available. And I'll update that every Monday. Thanks, guys.